in this chapter, Paul very much using a few terms. He used a lot the matter of glory. Begin with glory. Subsist in glory. Abounds in glory. Surpassing glory. This is one of the key words in Second Corinthians chapter three. You read the whole chapter, you will find out with him there is always a sense of glory, a sense filled with glory. He feels the abundance of the glory, the subsisting in the glory, and also the surpassing glory. With him, he's filled with glory. When Apostle Paul was ministered on this earth, he was ministering with a full picture. Every place he go, he doesn't have a sense. I come here to preach to you something for your need. Every place he goes, he has a burden within him. That is glory. He has a vision within him. That is glory. He has seen something in his spirit. That is glory. This is one major principle for being a minister brother. If you want to be a minister brother, first, you got to feel glorious. You know what is glory? Glory is nothing but God himself. Substantiate with me. You know, when you do not have God himself, substantiate, realizing you, you don't have glory. Sometimes you have a wonderful meeting. You see the meeting was so released, so joyful, so enjoyable. Makes everybody happy that we all jump up. But at the end, you don't feel so glorious. You have a sense, I'm satisfied. But you don't have a sense, I'm glorified. Why? Because the realization of God is short. Only the spirit work is short. But brothers, sometimes you know, when you touch the living God in a real way, you begin to realize the existence of Christ himself, of God himself. Then you begin to have a sense, what? Glory. You have this experience? Sometimes when you pray, after you pray for 30 minutes, an hour, when you are saturated with the spirit, saturated with the word, saturated with the burden of Christ, you don't feel your father. On the contrary, you have a sense. What is this? Glorious. This is the root of the ministry. If you are going to share something about the life, you begin to have a sense. Wow. The life is glorious. The life is marvelous. You begin to be saturated with what you are going to share. And you have the sense it is so glorious. Now you're qualified to be a proper or able minister. I don't know if this will be a little bit too deep to some of you brothers. If you don't know what I'm talking about, be sure you know one thing. When the time you got saved, not only you are happy, you have a sense of glory. When the time you have the first union with Christ, the first time you are so one with Christ, the first time you had the living touch with Christ, that was the moment not only you have tears, not only you have repentance, not only you have comfort, you have enjoyment, you also have a deep sense of glory. These freshness, this living contact with God himself should always be with those serving us. It is not the understanding helps us. It is the glory. The glory come out of you. The glory which you have experienced come out of you, released from you. That will really help the church to be built up. You just look ahead. You just feel wow, the days come will be wonderful. The years to come will be wonderful. You didn't know what's what yet, but you just had a sense. Wonderful!